morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Bates. Good morning, Shed School crew. Thank you so much for joining me, Miss Mac, once again in my yoga shed. So, as we did last time, before we do anything else, you need to make yourself some space. So, get your dog out of the way, move your cat, your guinea pig, your iguana, your fish, get them out of the way, move the sofa back. If you've got a yoga mat, Roll it out. If you don't, don't worry, that's fine. You don't need one. But what you do need is bare feet so you don't slip. So get your socks off, chuck them away. And today you will also need a book. Uh, now this book, it doesn't matter what kind of book it is, but it needs to be not too floppy, but also not too hard. So grown-ups, I will leave you to choose a suitable book. We're gonna do some balancing with it at the end. And then when you are ready, everyone come to sitting on the floor on your bottoms. Uh, Grown-ups, you may sit on the sofa if you would like. So we've got our legs crossed. If that's not comfy, we can have them out in front of us instead. But what's important is that our spine is nice and long. So our back is nice and straight. And if you can't get your back nice and straight, that's fine, you can lean against a wall to help you. You need to make your tummy strong and imagine there's a string pulling the top of your head up towards the sky. Super nice. So today we are thinking about being bouncy, about being resilient, about rising to challenges. We're gonna do a few trickier poses today that involve some balancing. But the great thing about yoga is, it isn't about getting it right. It's about how it feels in your body. So hopefully we'll have some fun. Right, let us take our hands to our tummies today. We're gonna start with our oms. So remember, O-M, the sound of the universe. So we're gonna close our eyes if you would like. If you don't want to close your eyes, that's fine. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. And all together with me, we are going to say, Om. And hopefully we felt that buzzing in our tummies. Now we're gonna bring our hands up to our heart. And we're gonna say another Om. Nice deep breath in. Om. Hopefully you felt a buzzing in your chest. And then we're gonna take our hands to our head, so they're resting on top of our head, and we're gonna say another nice big om. Om. Lovely, open your eyes if you've got them closed. And we're going to take our hands to our knees, and we're gonna do our big balloon breaths. So three big balloon breaths. So imagine that big balloon in your tummy and we're going to inhale through our nose. Take your hands up towards the sky as we fill that balloon and then we're going to sigh all the air out through our mouths. Lovely. Two more. Inhaling through the nose. Nice big breath. Exhaling through the mouth. One more. The biggest breath you've taken today. Exhaling. So that is one way we can use the breath to calm us down. So if we are facing a challenge, sometimes we can get a bit uh, annoyed or it can be a bit frustrating. So just stopping and having a bit of a breathe can help us calm down and hopefully then be able to be bouncy. So just bear that in mind. Always handy to take a little time to do a balloon breath. Right. Let's crack on. So let's send our legs nice and wide and the feet pull towards you. So you flex your feet, the toes point towards your face and the knees point towards the sky. If you need to bend in the knees, that's fine. And I'd like you to imagine that you are surrounded by a tree that is growing your favorite food. So it might be apples, it might be uh, mangoes, that's my favorite food, uh, it might be chocolate, there could be a chocolate tree. So I want you to just look around at this big tree full of delicious food, and then you're gonna start to grab it. So you're gonna reach up, and then you're gonna pop it in the big bowl that's on the floor. Reaching up, pop it in, reach up, pop it in, reach up, pop it in, try reaching high, try reaching low, we're just grabbing as much as we can, popping it in the middle, moving our arms about, Ugh. and then I'd like you to imagine a food that you don't like so much, that might be a bit of a challenge for you to eat. So for me, that would be porridge. So think of a food that you're not as big a fan of, and now there's a tree growing that, 
And again, we're just gonna grab it as much as we can, reaching up in all different directions. Oh, reaching out, filling our big bowl. And then we're gonna get our big spoon and we're gonna mix it all together. Three times one way, keep your toes pointing towards the sky. And then reverse that, we'll go three times the other way. Lovely. And then we're gonna throw our spoon away. We are going to smoosh the food. And then we're gonna gather it all up. Take it up towards the sky. And then pop it in our mouths. Um, nom, 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 nom. And it's gone. Excellent. From here, another little challenge. We are going to balance on our bottoms. We're gonna hold on to our feet. So you might need to bend up in the knees to grab your feet, that's fine. And then we're gonna lift our legs and say our names. So if I was doing it, I'd make my tummy nice and strong. And I'd go, Miss Mac. And then I'd put my feet back down. So if you're near a wall, move away slightly in case you roll backwards, which is fine. You can roll backwards. You just need to sit back up, but have a go. Being right on your sit bones and straightening your legs and going, Miss Mac. And if you can't straighten them, you can stay here. But you need to make your tummy really strong. Now, if you would like to make this more challenging, you can try spelling your name. So if I was doing it, I'd lift up and I'd go, M I S S M A C. Nice. So that makes us really strong and gives us a nice stretch through the backs of the legs and through the hips as well. Let's chuck our legs behind us now. And we're going to bring our hands so they're in line with our chest. We're going to push the tops of our feet into the mat and we're going to be a baby snake. So we're going to lift up in the chest. You might want to make the noise. And then we're going to come back down and we're going to bring our elbows underneath our shoulders. We're going to be a medium sized snake and make sure you're pushing the ground away so we don't want to dump into the shoulders here. Tops of the feet still pushing down. And then from here we're going to come back down. You're going to see our hands slightly wider. We're going to push into the floor and be a big snake. And from here you might even start to take your feet towards your head if you would like, but keep pushing the floor away. Lovely, super nice. From here, let's make our way up to standing. So we're gonna come onto our knees. We're gonna get our feet underneath us. We're gonna bend through our knees. We're gonna roll up to standing, nice and slow. Our head is heavy. And then we are standing. Gorgeous. Right, we're going to do some balancing now. So we're gonna start with an aeroplane balance. So I am going to start balancing on this leg. And I am going to start to kick my other leg out behind me. And I'm gonna bring my body forward and use my arms as aeroplane wings. And I'm just gonna see if I can balance. So maybe I'm here, maybe I'm here, but it's important to make your tummy nice and strong. So we don't wanna go here. We wanna fly through the air like an aeroplane. Then we're gonna swap sides. So I'm gonna put the weight through the other leg this time. I'm gonna send the other leg out behind. And maybe I'm here, maybe I'm here. I'm using my arms to help me balance. I'm just gonna see how long I can stay here. Lovely, I'm lifting through my chest like we did in our baby snake pose. Beautiful, Superman slash aeroplane pose. Now let's take a tree pose. So we're gonna bring our hands together in the middle of our chest where our heart is. And to start with, we're just gonna put one foot on top of the other. So look at what my feet are doing. Maybe we stay here, maybe we take the foot and push it into the leg. Make sure you don't push into the knee because knees don't go sideways. And from here, we find something to look at that doesn't move and we count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we let it all go, shake it out. And we do the other side. So hands together. And then we bring the other foot on top. Maybe we stay here. Maybe we take the foot to push into the leg. And then we look at something that doesn't move and we count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, nine and three quarters, 10. Let it go. And a way you can keep that challenging is to start to count slower and slower and slower and see how long you can balance on one leg for. A really great way to improve strength right the way through your body and concentration. Let's get back down on the floor. And we're back down on our bottoms. So I would like you to kneel. So your bum is on your heels. 
and your big toes are touching like this, we're going to take a lion's breath. So this is another way we can use the breath to help us if we're facing challenges. So this breath, it's called lion's breath, so it's going to make us feel strong and confident like a lion. So I'd like you to take your hands in between your thighs uh, and your fingertips, point towards your body. And from here, we're gonna take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And we're gonna exhale, make our face as big as possible. Nice, two more, nice deep inhale. Nice big exhale. One more. Beautiful, so that was lion's breath. All righty, let's come on to our bottoms for our last challenge. So grab your book and we're gonna come to lying on our backs and we're gonna put the book on our feet. So grown-ups, you might need to help here, but I'm gonna put my book on my feet and then I'm gonna straighten my legs. And my whole back is on the floor and my tummy is nice and strong and I'm straightening my legs, I'm pushing my feet away from me. Now, if my toes start to tilt towards me, the book might come and hit me in the face. So if in any doubt, I'm gonna point my feet up towards the sky. Whoop. So at least the book's not gonna hit me, it's gonna go behind me. So we're just gonna work here on this balance. And you can see how long you can hold it and you can keep upgrading to bigger and bigger books. So I started with quite a small book but I've got an encyclopedia over there on the shelf and I've also got the complete works of Shakespeare, so maybe I'll try them later. So you can keep making the poses more and more challenging as you get more used to them. Lovely, now we need to get this book down. There are two ways to do this. The sensible way is to bend the knees and take the book. If you're feeling feisty, you might try and catch the book. So have a go, see what works for you. And then we are going to come to sitting on our bottoms to close the session. So finding that nice sitting position again. Top of the head being pulled up towards the sky. We are going to bring our hands together. And we're gonna push our thumbs into the center of our chest. We're gonna close down the eyes if you would like. And we're gonna just say one arm all together. So nice deep breath in. Um, and then together we are going to say namaste so remember namaste means that i see and honor you and you see and honor me and we all see and honor each other so say it with me on three one two three namaste and you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me again, Shed School crew. It has been a delight to do bouncy yoga with you this morning. Uh, before we go, you've been awesome sauce. So what do you need? A marshmallow clap. Now remember, we do not marshmallow clap with our hands in yoga. No, 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 no. We use our feet, so grab your feet. And yeah, woo, 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 marshmallow clap, yeah, woo.